So I did some more training on the way, and I decided to add all ball players to the team. So now let's continue on. I believe you have a that's this way. Well, don't you want to check in the houses? Because you said in this where you said you get the experience here. Yeah, but yeah, but the, the, the professor to give you after you do that, do that sign mission. mission. Oh. oh. I'm looking, I'm for, looking a for a tour frame. frame. If you if have you one, have trade, trade it for my Pudgy. Do we have one? Do we have one? No, we no, don't have, have a frame. Ah. Uh. Uh. That's the, the evolution, evolution of, of Tornami. Oh. Yeah, as far as I know, I'm not dead. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we're back. <laughs> We have to be in a region near Florida if it's raining, and after we walked outside the house before. Yeah. I'm playing with my brother. Don't interrupt. I'm training my Pokemon. <laughs> I'm training Pokemon on my game. I'm actually going to beat my sister at it someday. Those kids in the video games. When I was a kid, I played outside in the dirt, and we liked it. <laughs> One day, my son got tired of going into Comic Cave to catch his own Pokemon that I had to drag him back. Can't interact with that. I don't worry about my sister. She's a little too friendly with strangers. Are you a trainer? You have Pokeballs filled with Pokemon? Hello. I'm a Pokemon enthusiast. I see you a trainer. You're looking at Pokemon in particular. I just can't remember what it was called. I'll give you a reward. It's sort of fat and yellow snake. What was it? It's a dense farce. I don't have it. You might not have that one. No. We seen it, I just don't have it. Nuzzle. How unexpected. It's good to see you, mate. But unfortunately it isn't the best time. See, there's been an emergency at Cypress Lab. We are, we're all incredibly flustered. So I went out to do something, although actually running into you now is the luckiest break we needed. <laughs> I can't explain it here. How about you come with me to the lab? I'll introduce you to Professor Cypress. She'll give you a lowdown on what's going on. Follow me. As if I had a choice. Yeah. Ernest, you're back. What did you find, a thief? Or was it this kid? Hey, kid. You picked the log lab to break into last night. Wait, Lily, hold on. He isn't a thief. It's Nuzzle. He's my research assistant. They happen to be passing through town. <laughs> They're a Pokemon trainer. Hmm, a Pokemon trainer. Are they trustworthy? Of course they are. They're my assistants after, aren't they? Besides, after Father Callan, the research ranger's chief. Ah, so you're Callan's kid, huh? Well, I suppose I can trust you. I'm Lily Cypress, the Pokemon professor at this lab. It, you probably figured out what's going on by now. Last night, <laughs> while we were out, Someone broke into the lab. They stole many of the Pokemon that we're keeping here for research, but it's strange. They completely ignored the most valuable thing here. 
on the table. It's the prototype Pokemon speech translator. It's the cutting edge technology we've been developing. There are some who would go to great lengths to get their hands on it. <laughs> That's what it got us baffled. <laughs> Why somebody would break in if they weren't going to steal the Pacific, Pacific Standard Time. See what I did there? You're back. What did you find? I managed to recover one of the, the stolen Pokemon. There was a fellow hanging around uh, Route 6. Ah, excellent. I have an idea. Let's use the PST on Outen to figure out more about the thief. Outen, ow. Scary, scary. I was in my Pokeball, sleeping, suddenly, I'm moving, but not human friend, <laughs> taking me and others out, upwards, mountain, cave, drop my Pokeball, and got free. Taurus Mountain Cave, that must be in Route 6. Maybe the thief is still there with the rest of the stolen Pokemon. Now the question is, how do we catch this thief? They've got the stolen Pokemon out of them, so they could be dangerous. They're a Pokemon trainer, even with two badges already. Is that so? In that case, Nuzzle, you might be exactly who we need. <laughs> According to Outton, Thief is still a Route 6 to the west. If you look into, we'll be able to get, be in your debt. In order to help with your investigation, oh, I know, you can borrow the prototype. This way we can talk to each other. Pokemon, you'll find and locate the thief. So we got Pacific Standard Time. And new area to catch Pokemon in. So far we haven't found any duplicates. Oh, four orange berries. No, I won't plant. Leap up. One them. Okay, trainer, I need you to face away. Yes, they actually attack you. No human allowed. Dude, I have a level 22 Pokemon. Are you sure you want to attack? Okay. Now I feel bad hurting these outins. Oh, you can battle them? That's what you were doing? You can talk to them and they you battle? They battle you, yeah. And they're like 
trainers. Yeah, they forced you to battle them. See? Uh, this was their fault then. Yeah, but I feel bad. Why suicide? Yeah. You know, I have a level 22. And you want to attack. The only thing for sure that I know that I can't do yet is my ground type move. Yeah. But look, I'm nearly killing him. There's the last one. No, oh, you're blocking my way. Yep. How dare you try to take me away? Take this. This time's at level 18. Still going to be two shot. Yeah. I'm gonna slash this ice to crit. True. Okay, now let's see what's really inside this cave and who really is the thief. You have an onion on your head. Uh. Garlic cake, garlic, garlic. Use Pacific Standard Time. What are you doing here, human? Are you trying to enslave these Pokemon again? They have been freed from your clutches. They won't be your prisoners anymore. Girl Kid is here, po Pokemon Hero. I found them in a horrible human place and I liberated them. We'll fight for our freedom. He looks so derpy and cute at the same time. Okay. I attack first. I don't think I want to do the swap training. Probably not right now. I'll leave them out and go ahead with the. Uh, um, I love it. I love that Pokemon right there. You can only catch it at night. Oh. I know. But you can only. It's supposed to be turning right. I mean, you love this. 
What? 540 Yeah. Damn, that one cradle go hit. Head for lost. But yeah, no, that's a mad crit. It looks like it's trying to dab. <laughs> I think a slash can kill it. I think so too. No. Okay. Almost. That's not too bad. No, not too bad. But there's a case of my next move doesn't faint it. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Prepare to be destroyed. We we lost but how? Why do these Pokemon fight on behalf of humans? They don't want their freedom. They're your friends? That's impossible. Pokemon my human cannot coexist. You are free to go. <laughs> I like fuck you, I'm out. Right this way, right this way. Come on, you're going back to that place? Why? You're, you'll pay for this, human. As long as there are Pokemon that are being held against their will, I gotta get the Pokemon hero. We'll be here to save them. I'll be back. And here I'm going right this way. Nando, you did it. We managed to recover all the missing Pokemon, thanks to you. We followed behind you in case you need a backup. But you did great. We saw everything that happened. Did you see a tiny gray man in a costume running this way now? That wasn't a man. That was a Pokemon. Our thief was actually a Pokemon card Gardo kid. They're incredibly rare and haven't heard of one being sighted in many years. Its habitat remote spots in the mountains, so it doesn't encounter humans often. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that one had over encountered people before. Garlic had a strong sense of justice. It must have seen the Pokemon in the lab and thought we were keeping them prisoner. I suppose they attacked because they were just excited. Perhaps Garlic has a point though. From now on, we'll make sure our Pokemon have more freedom and we'll listen to them more closely. Speaking of the field research of Pokemon Speech Translator, I say it was a success. It can become a very useful tool in the hands of a Pokemon trainer. So as a thanks to that, what you've done for us, why don't you keep that prototype PST? Okay. Nope, don't have it fall into the wrong hands, that won't happen. Now where's my EXP share? <laughs> that was a test. You passed with flying clothes. You're so great institution and resourcefulness. 
I still your wallet and become poop. Oh yeah, I forgot I have an item here. It'll help you on your journey. Wow! Now I got it. <laughs> Grow stronger, your next gym is in BLB City, right? That's a long trek, so you better stock up for your journey. Happy travels, I'm rooting for you. Now I gotta go back home to Monkey Town. Let's fly, Pudgy. Sir, you have fly. What the hell? Wait, is that cave a new area? I don't think you can find a Pokemon in there. Uh. Oh, it's not my key items. It's not here either. Is it in the normal item? An item that be held by a Pokemon the holder gets its gets a share of the experience points without battling. Oh no, I was wrong. Oh well, I just need to still hold on to it. Yeah. Now switching you way to the back. <laughs> you won't be used for some time. Not until you are love Troy Gyarados. <laughs> Nah. Really? Thank God, it's my fault. I walked right in front of him. And I'm still swapping. Oh, well, at least Maginator will get some experience out of this. Yeah. That should kill it. Oh. <laughs> I forgot. I forget your head sturdy. Oh. There. Oh, no. Wrong move. Oh. That's still a good, damn good amount. Yeah. And who knows, maybe Muldrow has sturdy. Daryl. Okay, I'm healing. Uh. 
We'll see how much magnitude does. Sturdy. That's what I need. I need a Pokemon with sturdy so I can <laughs> use it as suicide if I need to to heal. Yeah. So therefore I know I can take a hit. Yeah. Well I need to recover. As I move ever so slowly. Yep. The rain is making it lag. Yeah. Okay. And we'll see you guys on the next episode.